what is going on youtube lex express checking in with the amazon kindle fire hd review this is a seven inch kindle fire it goes for 140 dollars the screen is 1280 by 800 it's a dual core 1.5 processor it has dual speakers in the back as you guys see right there i like that a lot it's dolby digital so it powers uh it packs a good punch um here's the power button and then you got the volume right here up and down so let's uh, power this on and show you guys a little bit around so if you guys want to navigate like this you can if you guys want to navigate like this you can now I am uh, at the Amazon App Store right there as you guys see right there um, this is not Google Play this is not Android this has its own operating system I believe it's called OS 3.0 Mojito or something like that so it does feel like an Android though you know and it runs real smooth as you guys see right here i'm driving it crazy just opening all kinds of stuff let me open you know the web browser right there look at how fast it opens up no glitching nothing like that this is actually you know on wi-fi it's not through a 3g or 4g that's a, not another downfall you guys might not like so let's go right here i'm on youtube already loading up my channel so you guys can see lex express reviews check out my channel subscribe to my channel so um basically i wanted to do a review i've had this tablet for about a month now i've been able to use it uh for a good amount of time to have a nice judgment on it um here is the actual cover i use for it now what i like about this belkin cover it has three positioning so you could you know view the tablet at your liking and as you guys see there it's belkin it also has a strap here that goes over so the tablet you know won't open up and it actually holds it in real sturdy now this is not the most reliable case you know it doesn't have a lot of padding to it it's it's sturdy but nothing more than just that now um it has an email section where you can uh link all your accounts and it puts it in one uh, place right there let me sh let me see if I could show it right there but yeah I have Gmail and then Hotmail you could also add Yahoo and stuff like that so I like the flexibility that this uh, tablet has and I like how fast it moves now if you guys want to talk to some family members or friends you're not going to be able to do that because it does not have a microphone or webcam so you it's pointless to download the Skype app and it does have you know the micro USB charging uh, section right there uh, also, you could put music in it, of course. This is the 8 gigabyte version. Um, and then you got the headphone jack. The headphone jack is just for headphones. You can't put the ones that are combos, you know, with microphones and stuff like that. It does not work. I already tried it. And um, what I like about this, uh, this tablet um, is that it just runs super smooth. I mean, you could use Twitch on it. So it's real handy. Uh, as far as the battery life goes, I'm going to show you guys. I run the brightness in the middle and it i only charge it about once a day and i'm good to go uh there's been times that i charge it maybe once every two days and i use this tablet a lot i actually use it in place of a laptop you know instead of using my laptop all the time i use this tablet um so i won't have to you know check everything on my tab uh, my laptop so youtube overall i gotta give this uh tablet you know for the price for the what it packs in this you know nice seven inch um electronic device um, I think I gotta go with maybe a 9 out of 10 I'm not mm, 8.5 let's leave it at 8.5 and the reason I give it an 8.5 it runs real smooth it, it's gonna do what you want it to do which is you know check your emails look at youtube videos and stuff like that but it still has a lot of setbacks like you know no microphone no webcam but for 140 dollars you're getting a nice device that is linked to amazon so if you guys are a big amazon uh big on amazon you guys are going to really enjoy you know uh the surfing on their network as far as you know app store online store it's real good to have everything linked and that's what this tablet is is good for now if you guys want this tablet you know to i don't know play games it does run the games pretty good it looks real nice the screen the sound is pretty good um it's not the best tablet but for 140 dollars i think it doesn't get better than this if you guys don't care that it doesn't have a webcam or a microphone so that is all for this tech review if you guys have any questions on this and i might have missed it on this video comment down below let me know what you guys want to know and i'll try to answer to the best of my ability thanks for watching youtube lex express checking in checking out with this amazon kindle fire hd review peace thanks for watching